Hey guys, in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can add a blink to start function like this to your Instagram filter in the Sparky R Studio. So let's go. Hey again, so let's start a filter with a blink. I will use as example my random generator, but of course you can use any other filter which you want to start. If you also want to create a random generator filter, I will link it here in the video. So let's do this. At the moment, this filter starts with a tap. So when I tap on the screen, the filter starts shuffling and then in the end it lands on one item. So, but now I want to start the filter when I blink with my eyes. So for this, we have to do some changes here. But yeah, as you can see here in my batch editor, my screen depth is at the moment connected to my switch. And yeah, this switch starts all of the process which is needed to start the random generator. So for your filter, you will also have a switch and then all the functions, um, yeah, this tab or whatever actions triggers. So now I will just reset my filter and we will start to implement the blinking function here into the filter and we will also um, yeah, add the message here at the start which will say blink to start. So at first we have to add a face tracker to our scene so Spark AR is recognizing the face of the user. For this we go to our scene bundle, click on the little plus at the scene panel and here we search for face tracker. Now we are adding the face tracker to our scene and it will show up here as a yeah, yellow object in our scene. Now we are drag and drop the face tracker into our patch editor and then SparkAR will automatically create these three patches for us. So those are really important because we want to track our face. We want to yeah, see when the user blink and then start the filter. So the next step is that we add a new patch to our patch editor. For this we go to add patch and here we search for Blink because there is a blink patch we can use so yeah, we just search for blink and then add the patch. So now we have this little blink patch here and now we connect the output of our face tracker zero, the face output with the face input of our blink patch. So and now we are just connecting the output of this blink patch with our switch um, turn on input. So now we have successfully created this so and now i try not to blink uh, and now when i blink the filter starts this is pretty nice it should also work with glasses but i just saw there is a little reflection so do it again yeah when i blink the filter starts so pretty nice but yeah the user should know that the filter will start with a blink so we also need a message which will um yeah show up here at the beginning for this and we go to our scene, click on the device, go to the right hand side and here we have the instructions and here um, custom instructions and then underneath on opening and here we can choose an instruction. Just open the drop down menu and when we yeah, see here there is no blink to start but there down all the way down is see all instructions. So click on there and this window will open and here we can just search for blink and here we will see the blink your eyes instructions so we can just insert this and then um, yeah when the uh, user starts the filter in the five in the first five seconds this message will show up in the middle of the screen as you have already seen it in many other filters so um, yeah this was how you can uh, yeah create a blink to start action and here is the um, <laughs> Yeah, patch for the instruction I was searching for, so I will also here get it here. Um, here you can change the duration of the message at the beginning, so here it is 5 seconds, but you also can set it to 10 or whatever amount. So yeah, I, ha I hope this video was helpful. If yes, it would be nice if you give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So yeah, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye!